Hey guys, no video for our nature and environment in Japan playlist. So we're heading to a beach that is said to be Japan's oldest swimming beach, which is a little bit strange because being a bunch of islands, you would assume people would have been jumping into the ocean here for thousands of years. Perhaps it's just one of the earliest organized swimming beaches because as you can see, they had some infrastructure over the years. So it was extremely popular in the past. In fairness, when we visited, it was a weekday, so obviously not very busy this particular day. But we do know that on weekends it does tend to get busy, but not as busy as it used to be. There's just more options now, perhaps, particularly this is Aichi in central Japan. There's lots of other options for swimming beaches now in central Japan, so that probably explains why it's not as popular as it used to be. Also, the port of Nagoya is reasonably close, which has resulted in the water probably not being as clean as it could be, or as you'd like it to be, so that might play a part as well. If you head further south from here, further away from Nagoya port, the water is nicer. So you can see it really went off in the old days, isn't it? Look at that. Full on. So I don't know about the claims of it being the oldest swimming beach in Japan, but it's definitely an old swimming beach in Japan, isn't it? <laughs> we know that's a fact. So we'll run with that, won't we? It is a nice spot if you find yourself with some free time in, in Aichi and you want to go check it out. It's not hard to get here. You can go to uh, Ono train station. We'll get you to this place. Really packed, wasn't it? Full on. Amazing difference, isn't it? <laughs> one guy on the beach this day. <laughs> so I managed to find a very brief piece of really old video or old film from, from old days. Some big fat dude on the beach back in the old days. And here's the same place now. Anyway, hopefully someone found that slightly interesting. More videos coming soon.